The next learning objective is to measure interest expense on bonds using the straight line amortization method. The journal entry to record issuing a bond payable at maturity value includes a debit to cash and a credit to bonds payable. In this example, maturity value is $100,000, so therefore we must be selling 100 bonds since they each have a maturity value of 1,000, and the interest rate is 8%. These bonds pay interest semi-annually as do most bonds. Every six months, the company will pay interest of $4,000. This is computed by the interest formula principal times rate times time. In this case, time is six months divided by 12. Numerically, this is the same as multiplying by a half. When you do this calculation, 100,000 times 8% is $8,000 times a half equals $4,000. So every six months, the company who issued these bonds will be recording this journal entry recording interest expense, and then paying out the $4,000 of cash to all the bondholders. Now notice when on the issue date, we increase this bonds payable, and then over the years, as the interest payments are made, this bonds payable liability stays the same. Years later, when we pay off the, the bonds payable, this will go away with a debit. As we see here, on maturity date, the bonds payable is going away. This will balance out the account to zero, and then we pay the $100,000 cash to the bondholders to retire the bonds.